English Premier League Game Week 17 predictions and betting tips. I'll go with the Coresco betting options and also give you what my betting tip basically is within these 10 games of English Game Week 17. So if it is your first time coming across the Must Better Betting Tips YouTube channel, you know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe. Click that like button right away and let us make the amazing Must Better Betting Tips the number one betting channel in the year 2023. The first game is the game between Brentford vs Tottenham. I look at the game between Brentford vs Tottenham, I'm kind of convinced that this is a game that is going to be resulting in a number of goals being scored. And with that being said, I fancy a correct score of Brentford 1, Tottenham 2 at full time. Though the betting option for this game is going to be over 2.5 goals at an odd of 1.850. We look at the second game, that is Palace vs Fulham. Palace vs Fulham, I see a draw occurring in this game and a draw of 1 to 1 at full time. With that being said, I'm going with a betting option of a uh, Fulham to win or a draw to occur. The odd is 1.79 for that particular betting option. The third game we are looking at is Everton versus Wolverhampton or so Wolves. We are betting on an option, a clear option. I see a minimum number of goals occurring in this game. So with that being said, I think that the favorite to win in this game is Everton with a narrow win of Everton 1 and Wolves 0 at full time. So the betting option that I go with is either Everton win or a draw to occur at an odd of 1.38. The fourth game we are looking at today, Leicester versus Newcastle. Leicester versus Newcastle, I really expect that both teams should be able to score, but I'm not sure whether the game's goals are going to be very high, but I think both teams have a capability of scoring. And that being said, I'm going for a draw option of 2-2-2 to occur at full time and a betting option of over 1.5 goals at an odd of 1.25. Then the fifth game we are looking at today is Southampton vs Brighton. Southampton vs Brighton is a promising game. A promising game in a scenario whereby it's easier to determine who is going to be winning in this game at full time. And I think that Brighton should walk away easily with the three points at the end of full time. So I'm going with an option of Brighton to score two goals and Southampton to score one goal. That is a correct score of one to two in favor of Brighton at full time. The betting option though is going to be a double chance of either Brighton win or a draw to occur at an order of 1.35. Then we look at Aston Villa vs Liverpool. Aston Villa vs Liverpool, it's also going to be a game that should be able to, we should be able to witness both teams scoring and either team should be able to win this game. But as you all know, we really expect Liverpool to come back again strong because they still are in the title contender. I mean, they are still contending to finish in top four and they should uh, start again seriously and with a winning note. So I'm going with a narrow win of Liverpool 2 and uh, Aston Villa to get one goal. So that being said, I'm going the betting option of over 2.5 goals at an odd of 1.680. Then Arsenal versus West Ham, a clear game, easy win. We all know the winner is going to be at full time. Uh, so a favor, I'm going for an option of Arsenal to score three goals or two goals and uh, West Ham to only get one goal at the end of uh, the 90 minutes in this particular match. So that is going to be giving me a scenario whereby I'm backing a Coresco of either 3-1 or 2-1 and a betting option of Arsenal to win at full time. Then the eighth game that we are looking at today is the game between Chelsea versus Bournemouth. Chelsea versus Bournemouth, I don't expect Bournemouth to score any goal in this particular match. I also expect Chelsea to win. So I'm going with a correct score of Chelsea 2, Bournemouth 0 and the betting option is Chelsea win at full time. Then the ninth game is the game between Manchester United versus Nottingham Forest. Man Manchester United should win this game with a, a, a good margin. So that being said, I think that Manchester United will go score three goals and Nottingham Forest will only score zero goals. So the betting option will be Manchester United to win and the Coresco betting option I think is 3-0. The Coresco will be 3-0. And the final game is the game between Leeds versus Manchester City. I also expect Manchester City to score highly in this particular match. Maybe three goals or more, four goals or more. And that being said, I'll consider that into my final analysis or my final prediction, which is uh, giving Manchester City to walk away with four goals and Leeds United to walk away with zero goals. The betting tip is going to be over 2.5 goals to be scored in this particular match. So those are the predictions for Game Week 17 English Premier League. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if it is your first time coming across the Must Better Betting Tips YouTube channel, as I always say, ensure that you click the like button subscribe, turn on notifications so that you get notified every other moment that I upload the English Premier League predictions. 
from game week 17 to game week 38 i'll be providing you this game with these predictions each and every other week so don't miss that if you are somebody who bets if you are somebody who wants well analyzed predictions then this is where you need to be also don't forget to join our telegram community at the real must better and share this video with a friend let me see you next week for game week 18 english premier league predictions thank you for watching